Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. Today, I've uh, got a brand new game we'll be trying out. Uh, this is Helldivers on the PlayStation 4, PS3 and Vita. We'll be playing it here on the PlayStation 4. Um, Helldivers, um, this isn't going to be one of my first impressions, never played the game before. I have actually played this before, I was playing this last night with some friends. So what I'm going to be doing is just talking you through, showing you some elements of the game. So, Helldivers, uh, this is a top-down shooter. Uh, developed by Arrowhead Game Studios, a Swedish development company who've typically done a lot of PC games before. This is their first movement into sort of a console game. Um, this is a really interesting game. Um, it, it, it's a funny game. So what it is, is that you have become a hell diver, which uh, means you're a soldier who's going to go throughout the galaxy um, spreading managed democracy is the term. Um, the opening video kind of makes it seem like a spoof of um, Starship Troopers, um, not, not even no, not a spoof of Starship Troopers. A homage to Starship Troopers. The game, however, just feels kind of a bit of a spoof of Destiny, um, Halo, kind of games like that. You'll you'll see when we get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you around um, some of the elements of the game. So first off, you've got um, go straight into the game, and you've also got training. So trainings to go through the training mission. That's the first thing you do when you start the game. But I'm just going to take you in and show you. So. Gonna log in. Now, one of the big elements of this game is um, the community play. It does a lot with stuff. Of, um, it does a lot with that element. Um, you'll see this when we get onto the ship. So, logging into this is very, very important. So, we've got a broadcast now from Super Earth. Okay. So, what's been happening is this: is that um, I'm gonna try to explain this properly. Okay. So, we are a soldier, uh, hell diver from Super Earth. So what Super Earth is doing is we're expanding ourselves to make sure that Earth's got all the resources it needs. And to do that, we've got to spread managed democracy to certain regions. These regions being the Bug Homeworld, the Illuminate Homeworld, and the Cyborg Homeworld. I've only been to the Bug Homeworld um, so far. The Bug Homeworld's Starship Troopers. Um, Illuminate, from what I understand, is... Um, kind of like aliens in robes, I suppose. And Cyborg's like... All, um, yeah, cyborgs. Yeah. So what happens is, is um, the screen you're looking at at the moment, you can see at the top there's the Hawking region, the Gilbert region, and the Prometheus system. So these are the regions that we, as a community of gamers, are actually playing in at the moment. And you'll see the yellow and red bar moving up and down and backwards and forwards. Now, what that means is, is every time the yellow bar is moving up, that means that we've killed an enemy or we've um, conquered a mission. Every time the red bar goes down, it means that we've lost the mission. Um, or one of our players has died. So what we want to do is we want to get uh, on the Hawking region, for example, we want to get it all the way up to the yellow. Once we've done that, that area just to the right that's still in grey, uh, where it says HOM on Bug Home World, we go on to that region. Once we've conquered that region, we then go to the Bug Home World and it's the big war. Uh, if we lose regions, the map, um, the... Um, the enemies um, starts attacking us. So we can see on the cyber, cyborg home world um, that they're currently at this position here uh, on the left hand side. See where the red's coming in. If they get all the way to um, Super F, we need to defend the home world. So what happens is there's wars going on. Now currently we're on War 2 and this is day 14 of the war. Every time you log into the game, it gives you a recap of what's happened since last time you were there. So I was playing this uh, about 12 hours ago. So let's see what's happened in the meantime. This is my spaceship we've got here. So I'm just going to come up over here, go to the Galactic Campaign. So again, this kind of shows like the um, the metadata the game builds um, brings in of all the matches going on. And I really like things when they do stuff like this. It kind of reminds me a bit of Zombie Nation. Also in terms of the gameplay, Zombie Nation done it a little bit basically where um, you'd have like a zombie counter and that represented the world's population. And it would be like once the uh, you'd wiped out, well, once the community of gamers had wiped out the whole of the world's population, it would go back down to zero. So uh, if we look here on the left-hand side, we can see that the total amount of enemies that have been killed and the total amount of hell divers have been lost. There's also the accidentals. Uh, friendly fire is a big part of this game. So what that means is that um, you've been shot by your own team. Because this is a game you pretty much want to play on co-op. Um, and currently at the moment you'll see at the bottom left um, there's 4,788 hell divers currently playing this game. Uh, so we're going to go here. And also we've got the heroes of the Federation. This is showing the people who are doing the best at the moment in the game and the influence they've got so what influence is is that every time you complete a mission 
Um, typically, when you do like a lot of the easy ones, it's sort of an influence of two, um, like two points of influence. So you're going to kind of see like the total time. I'm not sure why this is loading. This isn't loading up. Normally, this comes up with all stats next to the heroes um, and the local heroes. So I'm not sure why this is not loading up. Must be a problem with their servers, which isn't a good sign. And we can see here the enemy killed count is going up and the held divers lost count is going up as well. Okay. So, what we're going to do now. So this is your spaceship. You get on. And you travel around the world. Well, travel around the universe actually, or the galaxy. And beat up the aliens. Um, so there's some different elements. This, there's a single player mode in which people can drop in and drop out. And there's also a multiplayer where you can join other people in games. Um, so, for example, at the moment, these are matchmaking. These are missions that are going on at the moment. I could potentially join and jump into. And there's also, as well, if any of my um, friends online are currently playing the game. So I was playing this with a couple of mates last night. We did have some problems with this last night with the friends list. Um, like, two of them would be in a game. And it didn't show that they were actually in the game. So I had to close it, close it, reset it. And then it, it did load up, but it wasn't that responsive, even with the refresh button here. It just didn't seem to be updating. So on your ship, you haven't really got too much you can do. You've got over here, you've got your encyclopedia. We can find out about the world, um, the universe of Helldivers, we're going to say. So what this has got, it's got sort of the tactical manuals telling you how to fight. Field manuals, different types of enemies, different types of missions, the terrain. What the different strategic goals are. So this one here, actually, if you go into this, it proper explains how the war works and regions and offense and defense and the planets which we'll get to. The galaxy itself where it is, so you get history of politics and the war. Um, the, the weird thing about this game, well the thing that I found quite strange was that when I first put it on, like I've said before, you get this opening cutscene and it kind of seemed to be um, very much a homage to Starship Troopers and also as well with the use of terms like managed democracy kind of seemed to be a little dig at perhaps like the um, war in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, but the weird thing is, is that um, they've actually really fleshed out this universe quite well, and they've got a whole, um, yeah, they've got a whole history and a backstory for it. So you can really read about it, and it isn't just like a throwaway. Um, yeah, although it's a pastiche and a homage to the Starship Troopers and what's going on at the moment, it also has got a real story as well, if that makes sense. Um, so we've also got the different types of aliens. So we've got the bugs, the Illuminates, and the cyborgs, and then we've got ourselves, who are the Hell Divers. So that's the encyclopedia. Also, we've got here is Dr. Jansen. You can talk to her every now and then. Light years away from anything. The war seems insignificant. And she'll just kind of give little information kind of like that. Just little tidbits. We've also got these two privates here. Who, again, they kind of carry on the sort of... Um, I miss New Alabama. I miss New Alabama. Uh, you know, they, they kind of put through the future. You know, they kind of give examples of what the future of the Earth's like, like New Alabama. And also, as well, kind of bring up the terms such as managed democracy oh, wow. again. I feel like a technical is a super rifle then. So then what we've got over here is we've got my armory. So in the armory you can upgrade your characters. Upgrade works um, a bit of a strange... Well it works in... Not strange. It works in two ways. First off, uh, when you level up you can get different um, costumes for your character. So you can upgrade them with. Um, and you can change the, the um, gender of your character. The only difference really between male and female is that female is a bit slender and boy strangers. Um, again, what I was saying earlier about um, Destiny, th these kind of character looks really remind me of Destiny, and I'm wondering if it's a little bit of a, I don't know, an homage to it or a bit of a, 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 no a knock at it. Uh, on the right hand side, we can see how, lo how long I've been playing, also as my stats on how I've been doing. So, um, 14, 12 missions, 1, 9, killed that many enemies, and I've died 12 times. Then we've got our weapons. So, um, weapons. How you upgrade weapons and how you level up. Um, as you battle throughout the game, you get XP, so you level up that way. Every time you level up, you get a research point. Research points are used to unlock different types of elements to your weapons. So, for example, on the, this gu the gun I'm using at the moment, the SG-225 Breaker, which is a shotgun, uh, I've upgraded to increase the range and also the um, flechette rounds, which give a bit more damage. Um, now also, how you get research points is you get them through samples. Samples are um, sort of alien DNA that you find around the map. Every time you get 10, you get a research point for that. So it kind of ex it encourages you to explore the map, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, then what we've got is we've got these things called stratagems. Stratagems are um, 
they're kind of like kill perks in a way, but you can call them in at any time. So, for example, in the middle of a game, I can call for a resupply of ammo. I can um, get my um, call in a better gun, like machine gun or a flamethrower, uh, or this one here, which I've only must have just unlocked. So I haven't seen that before. Uh, and also the lift jump pack, so I can jump around. Uh, got defensive here as well. I can call down a turret or a UAV drone, a big bomb, and also specials. So I can call down reinforcements. So if I'm playing with people and someone dies, this is how you respawn the character in. Uh, I can call in the hell bomb, which is a big bomb, and also SOS. So what that means is it will send out a message to people who are looking for games going, I need help on this level, and they'll probably jump in. And then we've got these other ones here that are all still locked. Uh, then we've got the perks. Perks you upgrade as you go throughout the game. So the perks I've got at the moment is I've got a laser arm module, and I've also got stun grenades. Uh, also here we've got, um, I hope I've got the title right, um, Colonel Stein, Steinmark, I think. Um, again, he kind of just gives a little bit more information about what's going on. So did you know the Galactic Campaign map is synced between all the ships of the Super Earth fleet? This feature is cool. As long as we are, uh, as long as communications are up, we are able to see the reported war efforts in real time. So I I've noticed with him, what he kind of does is he, he says things like this, like he was explaining how um, last night to me how the internet works out here because they're in space and like so there's a new form of internet um, and it's not done through um, it's not um, transferred no, the data isn't transferred via sort of um, wireless uh, wires or fiber optics for example it's now transferred through the particles in the air themselves. Uh, then what we've got here is got Admiral Agnar. Use the galactic campaign map. Kind of just tells you what to do and how things go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into an easy mission so you guys can get an idea of what the game looks like and then we'll jump in and join some people. So I'm going to go to the Galactic Campaign. I'm going to go into the Hawking region because the easiest ones here. So these are the planets that you can go through. So we've got to go through all these planets. Now it's nice little things like this. You'll see around these planets here, so at the bottom of A and 5, you'll see there's a ship and also on top of Charon Prime there's another ship. These are ships of other players who are actually doing, planets, um, doing games in them planets at the moment. So let's go to A and 5. And we're going to see here, you'll see there's these other ships here. So we can see Pussico1014, uh, who's currently in a mission on that game at the moment. So we're going to jump into this one. Fly to the place. And there we are, there's the new planet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into our hell pod. And we're going to land onto the planet and play the game. So let's go. Okay, so this is just confirming what I need to do. Uh, I need to retrieve the black box and capture the areas. And I also get to select the drop zone um, select the drop zone area. So what I can do here is I can move anywhere where I want to land. So this is um, my this is the up, lip, um, up drop point or whatever it is. This is basically how I get out of the game. Uh, here is the area I've got to capture and I've got to get the black box from here. And I'll probably have to return the black box to this area here. So what I could do is I can just sort of jump straight into this area here. Um, this is why they have the samples, because it kind of encourages you to explore the map and find out what's going on. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop in here. Uh, just check that I've got my equipment in the right place how I want it. Uh, yep, so I'm going to go with my shotgun again. And my support, I'm going to got my machine gun as a backup, the UAV, and also the sentry gun, which comes in handy later on. So I'm going to confirm and drop down. Again here we can see some more planets, uh, not planets, we can see some more players playing on this planet. Okay, and this kind of gives you the button thing, um, button layer. But I'm not with it this morning. I'm, I don't think I'm with it a lot of times we do these videos. But I'll try to keep them pure and get my errs and erm and mm and get, get everything, get a real experience. So here we are, this is the game. So uh, like I say, it's a top down shooter. So with my left stick, I move around like this. If you spin around 25 times um, in a row without moving when you're on the ship, you actually it's a trophy. Uh, I can aim my gun with the right analog stick. And then square ones to dive or take cover. This is quite important when playing with other people because you can dive via friendly fire. So you might have to use cover to get underneath someone's um, shots. L1 is for my stratagems to call in some more stuff. L2 is for my grenades. R2 is to shoot, and R1, I can't remember what that does. And circles for my melee. Triangle is to reload. Now, oh no, triangles change my weapon. Now I remember what R1 does. R1's reloading. Reload's really hard on this game. 
it's not hard, but the way it is is that if you're halfway through your clip and you reload, you lose them rounds that are remaining. So it's quite important to reload at the correct time. Okie dokie. Uh, what are we going to do now? So we're going to have a look around. Oh, I'm just going to show you guys the map. So as well, one of the things I've noticed about this game is that it, it does these little things um, that make it just that little bit more difficult. So for example, like the reloading process, um, like the whole reloading thing, losing your rounds. So you've got to kind of manage your ammo correctly. Uh, also as well, when you do reload, it does take a while. Secondly as well, the map. You haven't got a constant mini-map on the screen. You've actually got to pull up the map and look to see where you're going. So it's not like you can just run around and, when you got, uh, run around and always look in the top right or the top left for a map. You've got to kind of pay attention. So I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to go the long way around. I'm going to go down here, up around here. And we're going to go to this box here. So we can see over here these little red dots. These are a minefield someone's laid out. So I'm just going to keep on going. And when aliens pop out, or the bugs pop out of it, you'll see them start screaming red. That's when they're trying to say an alert. So I need to kill them quickly. So going down here, everything seems clear so far. Move a bit more in towards the map. See some aliens just went up there. I'm going to avoid them at the moment because I'm on my own. I'm just going to keep going. This is where I'm going to be getting my extraction later on. So I can see on the, red, on the map here, this little, these little red dots, these are aliens. And ah, that red thing, they've just sound the alarm. So there's going to be a lot more coming. So I'm just going to shoot these guys. So I'm going to keep moving now. You'll see in the bottom left, my ammo's gone, started going down. They're alerting more of their buddies. Now one thing I actually should have done at the start, which I've been a friend of mine gave me a tip on is to cool down your ammo now because you will run out later on so it's better to quit now so I hold L1 and you're going to see as I press the buttons it's going to come up so that's me calling in more ammo so I've just dropped out to get some more ammo sent down here it comes See the time running out, so I'll wait for my ammo to come down. If I'm in the way of that, that will kill me. And you can also use them to kill en enemies. Time to grab some more ammo. I shouldn't have reloaded then. Reload. To reload. Also held L3 to sprint. Right. So I'm gonna make my way now to. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the suitcase first or the black box. Oh, and here we got a sample piece. So this one, the DNA on the alien samples. So I'm going to grab that. Not so I get ten of them, I get a research point. Got some aliens coming up here. There they are. Now you sound the alarm. Avoid them through there. Get to this black box. Hear that little? I don't know if you can hear the little clanging metal sound. That's the sound of my gun running out of ammo, so I don't have to keep looking at the bottom. Oh, got another sample there. And mellow this one. So there's the black box. So once I pick this up, unfortunately, I'm only going to have my secondary weapon, which is my pistol, which isn't that good. I should have leveled that up. Probably thinking about it. So, gonna run quickly. Can't even run quickly with this, so I've just gotta move. And where am I going? Yep, I'm going that way. And there's a big one on me. So, lucky enough, these bugs are all quite. These bugs are all quite simple, actually. Um, they can't throw out projectiles or anything like that. So, as long as I keep moving, I'll be alright. Gotta reload with one hand. Yeah. And see my health's going down. To keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. So I need to get the black box in here. Drop off object. Right, now you're going to get it. Oh, I've gone down, so I need to... Oh, I need to keep pressing X there to stop myself bleeding out. Change my weapon back to my shotgun. There we go. Come on, then, mates. Oh, stop 
calling your mates in. Right, have I got a health one? No, I haven't, but I can call in an SOS. Might have to actually call in. Don't want to call in an SOS. I want to try to do this one myself. Okay, so I need to capture this. So all I need to do is like capture the flag, stay on the mark, and clear the area. So it's kind of like a domination mode on Call of Duty, for example. running low on ammo and they are calling in a lot of these guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call down a sentry gun no I'm not because should have called down a sentry gun straight away reload oh they're all over me here okay oh there's a sample I'm going to try to run back in and drop off a sentry sentry will clear everything here out Oh, come on. I'm not getting killed by one of these little things. There we go. Right, I'm going to call out my sentry. I've got three of these. Drop that down. Sentry guns in place. Now this thing's going to start shooting, and if I'm in the way of the shots, it's going to fire at me like that. So it just my own gun shot me down. So I should be right now with this sentry gun here. Uh, can't. So when I'm crouched on the floor, I can't actually call down another stratagem. Quickly get up, and I want some more. Ammo, because I'm going to run out. I'm also going to get my next, going to get my bigger gun as well, because I might need that. Reload. Yes. Nicely done. So, got the mark now. Grab some more ammo. Grab my new gun. Okay, so we captured the flags and that. It is time to get out of here. So we've got to get all the way down there. So I'm going to make a move. Extraction is actually really good as well. It's, um, it's like that scene on Starship Troopers where in the first film where all the bugs are overriding the place. really want my turret to, or my sentry gun to, refresh so I can get another one of these because this is going to be annoying. Oh! He's alerted them. Right, I'm going call, to call in the shuttle. So this, is, uh, this game also uses the D-pad, which is quite nice to see. I haven't seen a lot of games use the D-pad. So I've got to hold out here now for a minute and a half. And the shuttle will be here. This gun is really powerful, so it should be okay. Right. That's close. Nearly run out of ammo. Yep, run out of ammo. Back to the shotgun. Throw a grenade. Gonna get my. Come on, sentry. For two seconds. Ships here. 
Uh, when the shuttle gets on, you can't just hang around. You got to get on the shuttle. I think it leaves after 15 seconds. And get on the shuttle. And we're off. Complete the mission. Okay. So that's an example of me doing hell divers on my own. As you can see, um, I mean, this was on easy, and I've played this mission quite a few times last night with my mates, and it's doable. It's you just got to pay attention. You know, you can't. It's not quite easy to coast for it because easy should really be played with four players. So we gained some XP. Got some more samples. Two more. I've got my research point. So I killed 235 and my accuracy of 51%. Which isn't too bad actually, but should be probably high with the shotgun. So we've done well. So, I'm going to jump into a multiplayer game now. So see us with some other people. Uh, so what's this guy? I'm very hard. I'm not ready for that yet. They're on a medium. Uh, on the bugs. I'm going to jump into this one. Unable to complete teleport. Not enough room. Teleport failed. Return to ship. Okay, this might be because there's three or four. Someone might have one. Uh, What's this one? Cyborgs, bugs, forest. That's the first mission, I think. Uh, don't want anyone carrying on ship. I want someone carrying the mission. I'll jump straight in. Hide full games. Uh, I want to stay with the bugs. Let's have a look. Oh, wait. Did I just. Hide games carrying on mission. Hide games carrying on ship. That's how it should have been. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to jump into a cyborg one. Wanna... Cause I'll... There we go. Didn't read that properly, my bad. Okay, going go back. So it's challenging. Done that one. Let's jump in with these challenging guys. Let's see how we go. Is he letting us get in. So one of the other things about this game is, although it's four players, um, it's your um. Your experience isn't. Do I want to keep? Sorry, do I want to keep with a shotgun? Yeah, I like my shotgun. Um, one of the things about it is, is that the um, the screen that you sh you all use the same screen, so that's the same. It's like playing with four people um, offline. You're not all. Um, so what we're seeing now is that the screen isn't going to be centered on me. It's actually around all of us. So I can't just so basically you can't just run off out of the map, you've got to work together as a team. Oh, I shot that guy. I'll help him up, sorry about that. So he probably jumped into the middle of this game, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what that green laser is he's firing. Oh, This one They're calling in more ammo. Do the same. So this is one of the nice things, I've just jumped in with these guys mid-battle, kind of helping them out. Well, attempting to help them out. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I've actually seen these aliens before. I don't have a clue what that green weapon is he's doing. Also as well, like, I think I'm, they can hear me. Sorry guys, I'm just doing a review of this game. Um, but we can communicate via the direction pad as well. That is proper like one of the that is probably like the big bug from Starship Troopers. Oh, one of the guys is dead, so we need to call him in. Oh, oh god, that thing got me as well. I was trying to get in the other guy. Let's press the reinforce.
Yep, they bring me in. Thanks, guys. Equipment on its way. Come on, come. Oh, these guys have unlocked. One of these guys has unlocked the, um, the tank. Yeah, so there's different um, weapons you can, um, different vehicles you can get onto this, and the vehicles are great because we can drive around now. So, I mean, this game's fine on single player, but on multiplayer is where this is purely at. This is what you want to be doing. You want to be driving around in a tank, blowing stuff up, and spreading democracy. So, we're jump out of the tank. We've got to defend this area here. Stay here. So, uh, defensive stratagem incoming. Call it in the turret. Deploying there. defensive assets. That's my shotgun. I don't know what this green thing is, it here to me. Yeah, my agents are invisible, that's gonna be fun. Got attack in the back here. Don't know what that is he's calling him, that big boss. He's just calling some of his backup. Here it comes. I mean, to so just say this is pretty much the gameplay of Helldivers and it it's pretty fun, it's great, it's a good four person co op game. I mean, I've been playing, when I was playing my mates last night, it was great, you know, we were all chatting away and doing, um, communicating, giving out points and marks and things to do, you know, playing with these random guys at the moment, hey, it's great, no one's being a dick, which is nice, I think that's one of the good things about not having the, um, you've all got to sort of share the same screen, is that it stops people just running around doing their own thing. So we are going to get out of here. You coming in, Chips? Chips is in. Check them out. Mark point. Oh, we've got a long way to go. Oh, I just got out. Wait. Affirmative. Let's move. Thank you. On the double. So you see on my map now at the moment all these red dots popping up with where aliens are. So we're gonna go through. Drive to the extract point. I get the feeling this is gonna be a real Starship Troopers experience. Extract point. No, he's gone through the swamp, so this is going to slow us down. Yeah, go straight. Oh, sample. Negative. Oh, needs to scrap another one. Sweet. Let's go. Yes. Affirmative. Are we here? Oh, yeah, we're here. So he's going to call in the code for the shuttle. Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. ETA T minus one minute thirty seconds. 
Deploying defensive equipment. Repeat. Dropping equipment. Let's check the map. Uh, call in some more ammo. Defensive strategy incoming. incoming. Calling in UAV as well. So UAV just kind of expands what I can see on the map. I'm gonna get down because it's getting hectic over here. Crushed by my own thing. Some more ammo. Jump in the car here. No, I'm gonna jump out. So we're waiting for the ships to arrive. Oh. Hit reload again. My big gun. The extract, come on! This is a nice little bit here, a little bit of sort of a tower defence kind of like thing. We've got to defend our position. Oh, wait for the ships to come in. But I think we're pretty much safe here for the moment. We've got two turrets, a tank, yeah, and some ammo. We're good. All right, let's wait for the shuttle to come down. Come on. Here it comes in. The problem is with these shuttles, they can actually kill you if you're standing under it as well, like most things coming from the sky. Go jump in. Let's go, boys. And a flyaway. Good game, so let's see what we got. Mission success. Some nice XP out of that. Some more. Let's get in. Have I leveled up? I think I might have leveled up. Excellent. Promoted Staff Sergeant. He's got some new outfits. A research point. I've also got two samples, so I've got two research points at the moment. Continue. So I'm currently on this guy's ship so he decides what's going on but guys I'm gonna leave you have a good one I'll see you later so that's one of the good things about this is that you go um, whoever's sort of in charge of the game you go onto their ship and they decide where you're going what missions you're doing but you can also put suggestions through like oh can we do this mission and stuff like that um, let's just go for a level up just show you one of the last parts of the game so I've got some new outfits I've got the I was rocking Desert Mask 4 I've now got the Ranger uh, Oh no, I've got Woodland, sorry, is my new stuff. So that's my Woodland mask. That kind of looks like um, what the mask of the, the Stormtroopers wear on Star Wars Return of the Jedi when they're on the um, Ewok planet, Endor. Keep my desert. Nice little Woodland outfit. And I've got a Woodland cape now, which is slightly green. Go for that. Gonna upgrade my weapon. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm not too sure about the shotgun, I did like it. I like the shotgun when, if you're playing in a group, you can, because it's kind of a, a really good one-hit kill um, kind of weapon, but you haven't got a lot of firepower on it. Um, someone said they were using the SMG and didn't like it. I did actually, yeah, I unlocked the sniper rifle in the game. Um, I think you get that actually, if you um, if you buy the game in the first month, they're giving that some perks. I think it was the sniper in the UAV, um, but I like the fact it's called a camper. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upgrade my pistol because where I went down them last few times I've realised that I need to have my pistol in order and also as well if I'm picking stuff up. So yeah, so I've just done that. So guys, um, this is Helldivers. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you um, click the link below there, you can see um, you can see a link to um, the website and you can read my full review of the game. Um, if you guys are watching this on the website at the moment, uh, if you read, go and read them below. You'll read my um, full review. I'm going to play this a bit more and go through some more parts of it. Um, what I will say is um, I like the gameplay of it. It works. The co-op element of it really does work. It's re I mean, it was good just playing with them randoms, but it's really good when you're playing with four of your mates. Um, I haven't done any of the really hard difficulty ones yet in terms of the missions, but I'm going to be doing them some of them later today with some friends. Uh, yeah. It's just a really good game. It's a great top-down shooter. Uh, I'm liking what it's done, and it's it does um, it does the little things very well, such as like when we were on a, my mate's ship last night, as he was going through the galactic campaign, that hologram there kept changing, 
um, as he was going through the menu screen. We couldn't actually go into the menu screen ourselves, but it kept changing. It's the little things like that. And also as well, this whole community level, um, this community influence and like, it's kind of like we're all playing the game together. I love things like this. I think it looks, re I think it looks really fun. And I like the fact, you know, when you log back into the game, it shows you sort of what's happening in the meantime. Because I'm pretty sure that that Prometheus system, we had that nearly conquered last night. So we've been doing quite bad on that. And the Hawking region, we were still on that last night. But last night, the yellow bar was, I mean, we were doing really bad. It was right down the bottom, really small. So we've done well on that. So, yeah, this is Helldivers. Um, really good from, from what I've played so far. I've been playing for a couple of days. Um, read the four of you and see the rest of what I think. Cheers, guys. Bye.